In the run-up to the Copenhagen Climate Summit, New Zealand's political parties are putting forward proposals about what New Zealand should do. I'd like to endorse a strategy of pledge and ignore. That's right, pledge and ignore is the way forward and it has four big things going for it. Number one, the pledge bit. When you pledge, you get to have a feeling of moral superiority over other people. 1.5 billion people have no access to electricity. When you make your climate pledge, you show you're willing to sacrifice any chance that they ever will have electricity. And it's that important to you. Number two, the ignore bit. By ignoring your pledge, you don't have to do all the annoying stuff, like taking half your transport fleet off the road, slaughtering half your cows, or increasing electricity prices so much that your granny has to turn off her heater. Number three, pledge and ignore is supported by both major parties. The national government pledges to reduce CO2 emissions to 1990 levels within seven years. The Labour opposition pledges to reduce to 20% below 1990 levels within 12 years. Both of these pledges date from 1993. So, as you can see, both major parties can come together and put aside differences with a stable, long-term commitment to pledge and ignore. And number four, pledge and ignore will have a positive effect on Earth's climate, as good as any other policy. So people, sign on today to pledge and ignore. If you don't sign on to pledge and ignore today, then any time in the next few decades will be okay as well.